Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing about tree data structure and in the previous tutorial we discussed about binary trees and its type. Next in this series we will discuss about binary search tree or BST the short form of binary search tree and this binary search tree is also called as ordered or sorted binary tree that means binary search tree is a binary tree. So now if I want to define the binary search tree I can say like this binary search tree is a special type of binary tree with following properties. The first property is the left subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys lesser than the nodes key. And the second property is the right subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys greater than nodes key. And the third property is the left subtree and right subtree each must also be a BST. BST means binary search tree. Let's analyze this definition. Firstly, you can see binary search tree is a binary tree. That means in binary search tree, every node can have at most two children. Every node can have zero, one or two children. Right? That is what binary tree is. So binary search tree is a binary tree. That means here also every node can contain at most two children. Next, here we can see the next property is the left subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys lesser than the nodes key. For example, if I have a node here with the value 100, here key is nothing but the value nodes data. And if this node data is 100, now the left subtree of this node should contain those nodes whose keys are less than 100. For example, if it contains only one node at the left side, the value of this node should be less than 100. For example, if it is 50, that's okay. If it contains more nodes here, all the nodes should contain the key less than 100. This is the left subtree of this node, right? The left subtree of a node contains only nodes with key lesser than nodes key. In the left subtree, all the nodes should contain key lesser than this node key. The first point, okay? And the second point is the right subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys greater than the nodes key. This is the right side. In the right side, it should contain only those nodes whose keys are greater than this node. For example, 200. So in the right side, you can see the nodes with the key greater than 100. This is the right subtree, okay? So in the left side, we need value less than the nodes key. In the right side, we need greater than the nodes key. And lastly, the left subtree and right subtree each must also be a BST. That is nothing but here, in the left subtree, we can have many nodes, right? For example, here, this node can contain at most two children. And this node con can contain at most two children, like that. Now, all the nodes of this left subtree also need to follow this BST rule. That is, for every node, the left side node's key need to be smaller and the right side key need to be greater than the node's key. For example, here we have 50, right? In the left side, we can have key which is smaller than 50, for example, 30. And in the right side, it need to be greater than 50, for example, 70. It can't be greater than 100 because this is the left subtree. So here, it can't be greater than 100, but it need to be greater than 50. Here also, in the left side, you need to have value smaller than 30. In the right side, you need to have value greater than 30, but less than 50. Same applies for right side also. Here, if I have two children here for 200, the value in the left side should be smaller than 200. And here, right side, it should be greater than 200. Like 150, 400, like this. Still confused, right? Don't worry, let's take few more example so here we have a tree by looking at this tree I can say this is a binary tree so let's check this binary tree is a binary search tree or not so let's start from the root node root node value is 21 the key of uh, this node is 21 next let's check in the left side that is 10 and 10 is less than 21 this is the left side node and left side node should contain the value less than the node's key. So it matches the BST rule or property. Next, let's check this node. 
first let's complete the left side nodes all the left side nodes and here we can see we have 5 so this is the left node of this and here this value is 10 and this is 5 5 is less than 10 so correct here this is 12 12 is greater than 10 but it is less than 21 here you can see 12 is smaller than 21 that's why it is present in the left side of this node but 12 is greater than 10 that's why it is present in the right side here you can see right so it's also okay next let's check these two nodes this is 5 and here this is 3 this is the left side node and it contains the key smaller than this node key so okay next here 7 7 is greater than 5 but it is less than 10 and 21 that's why it is present in the left side of this node i hope you can see this right now we checked all the nodes of the left side left subtree next let's move on to the right subtree here we have 30 as i said in the right side we need values which are greater than the node key so here 21 and 30 is greater than 21 so fine so this node has two children 25 and 100 so 25 is less than 30 and it is greater than 21 that's why it is present in the right side of 21 but in the left side of 30 because it is less than 30 and this is 100 which is greater than 30 that's why it is present in the right side so this is a bst binary search tree because it is following all the properties of the binary search tree next let's take another example so this is a binary tree so fine let's start from the root node value is 100 and next let's check the left subtree it is 70 so 70 is less than 100 okay so next let's check this node this is 90 which is greater than 70 and also it is present in the left side that means it is not following the bst properties binary search tree properties in the left side we need to have nodes with the key less than the node key this node contains the key as 70 but here it is 90 that's why this is not a binary search tree you can check for other nodes also but here this node is not following the binary search tree property that's why this is not a binary search tree all right next let's take another example so this is a binary tree so let's start from the root node 30 and in the left side we have 10 and in this left side we have 7 and in the right side we have 20 20 is greater than 10 and less than 30 that's okay next here 7 so here we have 1 and here we have 9 9 is less than 10 and less than 30 but it is greater than 7 that's why it is present in the right side and also in the right side we have 50 which is greater than 30 and here we have 40 which is smaller than 50 but is greater than 30 and it is 100 which is greater than 50 so this is the bst binary search tree it is following all the properties of binary search tree all right so now next i'll give you a few trees and you need to identify those trees are binary search tree or not so here we have five example quickly check whether this is binary search tree or not okay so this is the first tree here we have five and this is 3 this is 7 this is 1 so this is s here next we have 30 here in the left side we can see 70 so it is not a binary search tree here we have 100 in the left side 70 in the right side 150 but in the left side we have 80 which is smaller than 100 all the nodes which are smaller than this node should be present in the left side of this node but it is present in the right side so this is not a bst next we have 200 100 300 and 50 present here 150 present here so this is a bst and next we have fifth example 500 100 700 here we have 50 here we have 300 but here we can see in the right side of 700 we have 600 so in the right side we need to have those nodes which are greater than the nodes key but here we can see 600 so this is not a bst all right so now we know what is binary search tree and how to identify the binary search tree. When we use balanced binary search tree, the insertion operation, deletion operation or the searching operation can be performed efficiently. 
because binary search trees are the ordered data structure when we insert a new value nodes are placed in the orderly fashion right in the binary search tree when we have ordered data structure where the values or datas are arranged properly in a order then doing any operation on that is much more easier and we can perform the operation more efficiently all right next let's see if list of values are given and uh, if i need to construct a binary search tree from that then how to do that so here i'll take few random values i don't know how tree will come whether we'll get balanced binary search tree or not but we need to form a binary search tree from list of numbers first what you need to do is first you need to check the first value that is 5 so create a root node here 5 next let's check for the next value that is 4 4 is less than 5 so if it is less than 5 then it need to come in the left side right so 4 comes here next we have 10 10 is greater than 5 so it need to come at the right side next 7 7 is greater than 5 but it is less than 10 so it need to placed in the left side of 10 next we have 25 25 is greater than 5 so it, it need to be present in the right side of this node let's come here 10 25 is greater than 10 so it need to placed in the right side in the right side of 10 next we have 36 so let's check 5 and 36 so 36 is greater so we need to place that in the right side of this node and let's check 10 10 and 36 so 36 is greater so it so we need to place that right side of this node so let's check 25 and 36 so 25 and 36 36 is greater so we need to place that here at the right side next we have 1 so 1 is less than 5 so it need to come here in the left side 1 and 4 so 1 is smaller so 1 need to be placed in the left side of 4 next we have 121 so let's check 5 and 121 121 is greater so we need to place that in the right side of this node 10 and 121 of course 121 is greater so we need to place that right side so here 25 and 121 121 is greater so we need to place that right side 36 121 so 121 is greater so it need to be placed here in the right side so in this way you can construct a binary search tree from given value so we are not getting balanced binary search tree here because the structure of tree depends on the given value and here i took few random values that's why all right so this is about the binary search tree so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you next class till then take care